Hey Mountain Kids, this goes out to everybody, but specifically grade level two, four, five, and six. Um, mostly because we all, all four of those years focus on water for different reasons. Um, certainly amphibians are tied into uh, where water is on the land in second grade and fourth grade. We have our year of the trout, so everywhere water is, we want to look at the, the life around our creeks. But this right here is a seasonal creek that is mostly drying up right now. It's April. We're kind of in a drought right now. But uh, as long as there's water on the ground, you can have more life going on. You can see some algae blooming um, in here already, which again is pretty crazy for April. But uh, while we don't have any fish right in here, we do have life. And all of that is going to support the larger environment. So. It's really cool to get up, get out, and, and just get into where the water is. Find out where it is and when it goes away and it's not there anymore. Um, I actually just saw a water strider down there, which is cool. So you got to stick around, look closely, and see what kind of life you can see living in our little aquatic environments. So do map that out and map when um, areas get dried up. Like this is a pool. If I come out here every day, I can track how the water gets low, lower and lower until there's just no more standing water, which means no other animals can come and drink this water and nothing else can rely on it. So, um, so yeah, get out, get up, get out, and get into our aquatic environments, kids, and map them, figure out where they are, and watch them day by day, week by week, and see which ones stick around and which ones dry up and go away. They're all important. Um, but noticing those differences is a real important pattern to notice in science and of course also the, the cause and effect of, of having little snow in the winter time and how that affects our, our creeks and rivers. All right, take good care. See ya. Bye.